Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, uh, I'd like to touch on some news uh, about the Mortal Kombat uh, reboot film uh, that's been kind of in, in on and off development for the last four or five years. Um, so, just to get everything straight, the original Mortal Kombat film came out in 1995. It's kind of a guilty pleasure movie for me. It's PG-13, so we kind of lose the blood and gore from uh, the franchise that the franchise is really known for. Um, and then in '97, we got the horribly awful Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which effectively ended that series. And uh, I think that movie has some of the worst CGI I've ever seen in a film. <clears throat> But seeing as how Mortal Kombat has had a resurgence in recent years with Mortal Kombat's 9, 10, and now 11 being released, um, we have seen kind of a, more of an interest in the franchise as a whole. Uh, so naturally, uh, Warner Brothers has wanted to capitalize on this, uh, so they're investing in a new film franchise. Now, there were some rumors going around with this franchise before now. Uh, there was rumors that it will be rated R. Again, that has not been confirmed. I would love to see a rated R film because we've already seen PG-13, and what they can do with it, it would be better to see rated R, um, especially for Mortal Kombat. Uh, and then... The other thing was is that they were planning on getting A-list actors to star in this film because they, they want star power and they want to actually invest money into this franchise. Um, again, nobody has been named in the cast. Uh, it's being directed by James Wan, who's coming off uh, two very big hits with Fast and Furious 7, followed by Aquaman. Uh, so... Both of those movies, and now you have him doing this. And again, this is somebody who can do action very, very well. So that's really what you want. And he's proven on multiple occasions that he's able to do that uh, proficiently. So moving forward, um, there was really not a whole lot of news going around with it uh, it's, uh, until probably late last year. And then we've started having trickles and trickles of information come in. So today we found out that apparently uh, the film is going to be entering pre-production uh, by the end of this month, uh, and they are going to be uh, filming in Australia. Now that does make sense, because if you really want to film kind of a desolate sort of wasteland, like what Outworld is, that would make sense to film in like the Australian outback, because that's essentially what it is. Um, I wouldn't say a wasteland, but it, it, you know, it's very desolate. There's nothing there. Uh, you know, there's maybe a road or a shack every once in a while. Uh, but ultimately it's very devoid of people, uh, which would do really well, uh, to have them taking on, uh, to have, to take on the likeness of Outworld or the way that Outworld is portrayed in both the games and other media. So, we have no story information on this at this point. Um, there were some rumors going around about it starring a, uh, a character who was all new to the film, kind of like what they did with Alice in Resident Evil, where Alice was never in the games, but she was the main protagonist of the uh, of the films. Um, they were thinking about doing, I forget the, the act character's name, but they said that there would be an all-new character, um, and then that uh, they would also have a 14-year-old Raiden for some weird reason. I don't know why. But uh, Warner Brothers had shot those down and basically said that those were not true. Now, they do that pretty much with any kind of rumors. Uh, it, once they gain enough steam, the studio will acknowledge it and basically say it's BS. That doesn't necessarily mean it's not true. It just means that the studios, you know, they always deny those, no matter what. You know, even if they're right. We can look at that with, uh, like, Avengers Endgame, where people were able to guess the title uh, not long after the uh, after uh, Infinity War came out. And the Russos told them they were wrong, and in reality it was actually Endgame, and they were basically just trolling everybody. But... Uh, you know, so, uh, you know, breaking that down, um, it, there's really not a whole lot to judge by this point, but this is really the first solid news that we've heard, um, you know, really solid news that we've heard out of the uh, Mortal Kombat film. And the fact that it's entered pre-production now is a really good sign. And hopefully uh, it will not get stuck in pre-production and we will be able to see this film get brought through to fruition. Because personally, I would like to see it. Again, I, I reiterate that uh, 
I'm a really I'm a fan of the uh, the '95 film more just because of uh, you know kind of how crappy it is in some ways. Uh, some of the practical effects are actually really good in that film, but you know it's kind of a it's a guilty pleasure film for me. Again, it's a lot like Doom 2005. Um, but you know, especially in recent years, you look at Mortal Kombat and you see like how much the story has evolved especially in 9 10 and 9 and 10 i haven't played 11 although i've heard some eh, things uh but you know in 9 and 10 the story was really really good and you know especially even for a fighting game and the characters they give them depth now and the, you know they're, they're not just pixelated guys on a screen that look cool they have actual character to them which is good and uh now that we're seeing that, you know, if you can carry that over into a film, that would be great. And, you know, having the games be somewhat deep in story ultimately will help the film if they're taking stuff from the games and adapting them for the screen. So, you know, I'm optimistic about this so far. It doesn't seem bad. Um, again, I like James Wan as a director, uh, especially for something like this. I think he can do a very good job. I'd be very interested to see who the actors are that they cast and what roles they're going to be playing. Um, and I'd also be interested to see what type of story they're following. Are they going to follow the same story as the original film uh, and uh, Mortal Kombat 9, where it's about the uh, the uh, Mortal Kombat tournament that's an outworld? Uh, are they going to... Uh, you know, kind of, you know, switch some stuff around and maybe jump around the timeline a little bit, or maybe we'll get a prequel to the Mortal Kombat era or something like that. I don't know. It, it's, it, there's, again, a lot of stuff is still up in the air, but it is a good sign that this thing is hitting pre-production. Uh, because again, it's one step closer to getting to the point where it's going to get made. And I'm going to, uh, try and pay attention to this as much as I can. Uh, and, you know, when we have uh, casting and stuff like that, I might do another video after they have the cast assembled, uh, you know, before they start actual filming. Uh, but, again, this uh, this looks good. So, uh, I will, uh, again, I will keep everybody updated. And uh, I'd like to know your thoughts. You know, what do you think of the older Mortal Kombat films? Are you excited for a possible reboot? Um, you know, would who would you like to see cast as what character? Uh, put it below. Uh, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe, and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?